Hello and welcome, I'm Maria Ressa. This is your 12 Noon Wrap. The Philippine government claims President Rodrigo Duterte ironed out differences with world leaders he had earlier insulted. Foreign Affairs Secretary Perfecto Yasai says Duterte and U.S. President Barack Obama briefly spoke at a holding room before a gala dinner Wednesday. DFA spokesman Charles Jose says the two leaders, quote, ironed out their differences. The Guardian reports a White House official saying the exchange consisted of pleasantries between the two. Duterte also met United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon at the dinner. A photo shows Duterte shaking hands with Ban. Duterte had an outburst Monday in response to Obama's concerns over the bloody war on crime. Duterte also threatened to leave the UN last July because of his frustrations with the international body. China comes under pressure in the ASEAN summit over its island building in the South China Sea or the West Philippine Sea. The Philippines released photos of recent construction at the disputed Scarborough Shoal a few hours before the leaders met. China insists it has not started building at the shoal. A U.S. official questions the Philippines' claim, saying the U.S. has not detected any unusual activity in the past months. In a joint statement at the end of the summit, ASEAN said it remains, quote, seriously concerned over recent and ongoing developments. China claims nearly all of the South China Sea causing tension in the region. Apple unveils two upgraded versions of its iPhone and a new waterproof smartwatch. The iPhone 7 and larger iPhone 7 Plus come with new camera technology, 50-meter water resistance, and the iconic game Super Mario built for the smartphone. Apple also removes the headphone jack from the iPhone, requiring audio to be delivered via Apple's proprietary lightning connector, or by wireless. Apple Watches Series 2 will also feature GPS, allowing people to gather fitness data during an outdoor workout without needing to take along a smartphone and is also now swim-proof. The popular game Pokemon Go also makes its way to the watch. That's your 12 Noon Wrap. I'm Maria Ressa. Join us again for the day's top news.